Welcome back to Bonsai by the Sea. Well, I survived the trip. I'm kind of like an old tree that doesn't travel very well. The wife had to put up with me. But now that I've paid my dues, I shouldn't have to leave for a while. So when we got to Colorado, I ordered some seeds, found this company on Etsy called the Sacred Plant Company. And we ordered a number of seeds from, from them. So we're going to take a look at them today and get them planted. But before that, a friend from, from Wimberley, Texas, she goes by Mama Bear. She collected some bald cypress trees for me off of the Blanco River. So I'm going to put those right in here first. And these are going to go in the greenhouse and just stratify naturally. But some of these other seeds seem to be pretty valuable, like these ginkgo seeds. Only three seeds in there. So we'll see what they look like. Big seeds. I did get four. So I investigated the ginkgo seed, and it does need to stratify. But when I get a small amount of seeds like this, I like to put them in the hummus container. Quite amazing seeds. So we'll put these four in a wet, wet paper towel. Cover them with another paper towel. And those will go in the refrigerator so I can really keep track of them. So one of the seeds I really wanted was the Don, Don Redwood seeds. And this one says 63% germination. So there's a hundred of those. So they're going to go into this flat. When we got home, everything was frozen here. So these, these flats have been thawing out in the shop here. Take a look at what these redwood seeds look like. Check out Candace at Bonsai Science for lots of good information on the Don Redwood. Definitely a tree I'd like to, to have. So these are going to go in the greenhouse and stratify naturally. And I've got some good tree compost to, to top dress them with. There's enough of those seeds to do this whole flat. These old styrofoam containers, I think they originally had grapes shipped in them or something, but I've used them for for starting many seeds. They've been a really good, really good way to start seeds. All right, so that's the Dawn Redwoods. Five sweet Arcadia seeds. Acacia. Acacia, thank you. 
So we'll see what those look like. So I, I investigated this one and they don't seem to need stratification. So these I'll, I'll be able to to put right on a right on a heating pad because they need about 75 degrees. So I'm going to do do these in the wet paper towel. So these will go on a heating pad in the basement and I can check them every once in a while until they sprout and Osage orange seeds and when we when we investigated these they they seem to don't need very long of a stratification so we're going to put these in the in the refrigerator so there's the osage orange seeds So these will go in the fridge. What else? Oh, 50 giant sequoia redwood seeds. And this one says the germination test was only 37%, so not real good. So we'll see what we get. See what they look like. So they're going to go in the greenhouse, stratify naturally. So in the last video with my grandson, we were taking these Ponderosa pine seeds out. And this is what I ended up coming back with. Really nice looking seed. So we're just going to put these in there with their wing and everything. See what we get out of them. And we'll top dress this whole box with the tree compost. All right, so if you'd like to see if these seeds come up in April, be sure and subscribe. I'll be keeping an eye on them. 
Hope everyone's having a great day and staying warm. I'll see you on the next video.